Theorem 3.5 is the alternate exterior angles converse. This tells me if I have two lines cut by a transversal, and alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Again, this is true both directions. So if given two lines cut by a transversal, if the lines are parallel, then alternate exterior angles are congruent. If alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. And lastly, we'll look at theorem 3.6, consecutive interior angle converse. For this one, again, we start with two lines cut by a transversal. If consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So for example, let's say angle 2 is 80 degrees and angle 1 is 100 degrees. Then the lines are parallel. Let's look at an example using this knowledge. In example one, determine what the value of x must be to make m parallel to n. So you're given two diagrams here. You have to find the value of x that would make these two lines, m and n, parallel to one another. Go ahead, work this through, pause the video, and resume when you're ready to check your solution. For this first part, we notice that these angles are consecutive interior angles, so we want them to be supplementary, meaning that 3x minus 15 plus 150 needs to equal 180. Subtract 150 from both sides, get 3x minus 15 equals 30. Now add 15 to both sides. 3x equals 45, divide both sides by 3, and we are left with x equals 15. Thus, if x equals 15, that would make these two consecutive interior angles supplementary, which would allow us to conclude that m is parallel to n. Let's look at this second example. Okay, in this example, we have our two lines, M and N, cut by our transversal, and we are looking at alternate interior angles, so we want them to be congruent, meaning that 3x equals 2x plus 20. To solve for this, we first want to subtract 2x from both sides. We are left with x equals, oh, we want this in blue, there we go, x equals 20. Thus, if x equals 20, we'll end up with congruent alternate interior angles, allowing us to conclude that m is parallel to n. Let's look at a different kind of example. In example two, we want to prove theorem 3.4 and that's the alternate interior angle converse. So we want to prove that if we have two lines cut by a transversal, such that alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are also, then the lines are parallel. Take a moment, try to work this out on your own. When you have an idea, go ahead, s s look at the solution. Hopefully you'll get the entire proof. If not, that's okay. We'll talk more about the proofs in class.